Recurrent neural networks are trained by backpropagation through time. But propagating the gradients over many states as necessary to train recurrent neural networks can lead to vanishing or exploding gradients. Gated recurrent neural networks address that issue by introducing gating mechanisms that create paths through time over which gradients do not vanish, neither explode. Here in particular, we will look into gating mechanisms in the form of long short term memory units and gated recurrent units. In some learning tasks, the recurrent neural network may have to learn how to model long term dependencies of length t in the data sequence. That poses a challenge, however. Recurrent neural networks are trained via backpropagation through time, which relies on computing gradients with respect to the weights of the neural network and propagating them back in time. But the Jacobian of the hidden state Z of T with respect to the corresponding weight matrix B will then depend on a chain of multiplications by that weight matrix. That is, initially, it depends on B. But when computing the next state of date, the Jacobian now depends on B squared, then B to the third power, and so on up to the length of the sequence T. What happens is that if the eigenvalues of the weight matrix B are small, raising them to the power of T will cause the gradient to vanish, thus leading to exponentially smaller weights. If the eigenvalues of B are much larger than one, however, raising them to the power of T causes the gradient to explode, thus leading to exponentially larger weights B. To see that, consider a simplified version of the RNN where we omit the pointwise nonlinearity sigma and the input x of t. That is, in the simplified model, the hidden state is updated simply by multiplying its current value, zt minus 1, by the weight matrix B. At time t, the hidden state zt then depends on the t's power of the matrix B. That is, zt is given by the product between B to the t's power and z of t minus t. If the matrix B can be decomposed into its eigenvalues and eigenvectors as B equals to Q lambda Q transpose with lambda a diagonal matrix made up by the eigenvalues of B and Q an orthogonal matrix made up by the eigenvectors of B, then the recurrence of the hidden states can be written as ZT being equal to Q times lambda to the t's power times Q transpose times ZT minus T. Writing the recursion in this form allows us to see that eigenvalues less than one will vanish while those eigenvalues that are greater than one will explode, implying that any component of zt minus t that is not aligned with the largest eigenvalue will then be discarded. To address this issue of vanishing gradients, we must add a gating mechanism to the recurrent neural network. Gates are scalars on the unit interval that act on the current input of the neural network, x of t, and on the previous hidden state of the network, c of t. Gates control how much of the input signal and past time information encoded in the hidden state should be taken into account at each time instant. They are updated at every step of the sequence, and they are fundamental to address the issue of vanishing or exploding gradients because they allow the recurrent neural network to create paths through time that have derivatives that neither vanish nor explode. Through those gates, the RNN can then create dependency paths that allow encoding both short and long-term dependencies of the data sequence. The most popular gated RNN architecture is the long short-term memory model, which has been very useful in applications such as speed recognition and image captioning. LSTM recurrent neural networks maintain blocks known as LSTM cells. Each of those cells has a self loop maintaining an internal memory in addition to the overall recurrence of the recurrent neural network. The self loop of an LSTM cell is defined in terms of three gates, a forget gate unit f of t, an input gate unit g of t, and a cell output gate q of t. Let then x of t be the input of the LSTM cell, zt the hidden state of the overall recurrent neural network, and S of T, the internal memory of the LSTM cell. That internal memory S of T is updated by applying the forget gate F of T to the previous value of the internal memory S of T minus one, and by applying the input gate G of T to the state update of the RNN, which as we recall, is given by a non-narrative sigma on top of a linear combination of the input X of T and the previous value of the hidden state ZT minus one. With the new value of the internal memory, S of t, d 
The output of the OSTM cell can then be updated by applying the cell output gate, P of T, to a nonlinearity sigma applied to the updated value of the internal memory, S of T. Another popular model of gated recurrent neural network is the so-called gated recurrent unit, or GRU. GRUs are a slight variation of the LSTM model, in that now a single gate U of T plays the role of both the input and forget gates. That is, the hidden state of the recurrent neural network is now updated as U of T times the previous value of the hidden state, S T minus one, plus one minus U T times the original update of the hidden state, that is, the result of applying the nonlinearity sigma to a linear combination of the input x of t and the previous hidden state ct minus 1. Note that in this, the contribution of the previous hidden state ct minus 1 to the updated state is controlled by the reset gate r of t. Although those are arguably the two most popular architectures for gated RNNs, many more variants of gating mechanisms for RNNs exist. Note that in long short term memory cells and gated recurrent units, the gates themselves are calculated as the outputs of recurrent neural networks. For example, the forget gate of a LSTM cell, FT, has its own state variable ZT prime that is updated by a recurrent neural network. That is, at each time instant, the internal state variable of the forget gate, ZT prime, is computed by the computation of a pointwise nonlinearity in the linear combination of the input XT and the previous value of the internal state, ZT minus one prime. Given the updated internal state, ZT prime, the forget gate FT is then computed from the input XT and the internal state ZT prime as a sigmoid nonlinearity applied to a linear combination of the input X of T and the internal state, ZT prime. Here, U and W are both linear layers mapping the input and the state features to a single scalar. And the sigmoid activation function ensures that the gate values ft remain on the unit interval. <laughs>